Hi hey guys, we are at Vermilion Avenue to give you a tour of this beautiful home. Let me show you a little bit of the surroundings first. Looks like there are several new or newer homes that were built right next to this house. So Bloomington Hills is a, a pretty well established neighborhood. It's been first developed originally in the late 70s, but there were still a couple of lots that were available. So we see some new construction, uh, some original homes. And if we go a little bit further back this way, you can see a brand new home being built back there in between those two houses. So this home sits up above the street, it has somewhat of a steep driveway. There's additional parking right here on a side. Looks like this opening is not incredibly wide. I'll, uh, I'll measure it for you later just to see what type of clearance you could get right there. There is a two plus one garage. Looks like the exterior stucco has been repainted. There's some additional exterior siding. Um, that was, appears to be brand new. Let's head inside and take a look at the rest of this home. This part of the neighborhood is kind of up above everything else. So from your front, you had some pretty cool views of St. George. See I-15 right there, and then downtown St. George is kind of in that general direction. They did a great job on all of the exterior rock. They kept the original windows. Looks like the garage doors got painted. They installed some, uh, some can lights up above to provide more exterior lighting. It's kind of a cool deck that sits up above the front door. The glass on the front door is partly met with this cool design. As we enter this home, there's LVP flooring throughout. As you turn to the right off the front entry, looks like this could be a formal den, a living area, potentially an office. It does have some pretty cool views. Give you guys another perspective to kind of give you a feel for the size of this area. It's brand new light fixtures. Paint appears to be brand new also. And this is your front door. So while we are here, let's check out the garage. It is an oversized three car garage that also appears to be extra, extra deep. I'll give you guys exact measurements of this garage and uh, the doors as well. It, it is 30 feet deep by Let's see if I could get a reading I'm using one of these devices. 30 feet and 11 inches deep by 28 feet and six inches wide. Looks like they've installed quite a number of uh, can lights throughout the interior of this um, garage. I'm curious to know about the height of this door. It does not look very tall. So the height of the door is six feet and 10 inches. It 
but it is a very, very deep garage. It's like, it's got an extra half a car length. Okay, before we leave downstairs, there's one more room down here. Looks like it's a, oh, there's a lot more than one room down here. So there's a, a bedroom with an ensuite bath, new light fixtures. Again, some views through this window. Windows appear to be all original. Bathroom has new countertops, tile flooring, a fully glassed in walk-in shower, some nice tile work. Nickel shower head and a mixer. There's another view of this room. It has a small closet. There's a small closet over here. Looks like there's another closet over here. Actually, that's like a Harry Potter closet that goes under the staircase. So what's interesting about this, this is actually like its own apartment. As we walk out of this bedroom, it takes us into this kitchen living area. So there's a, a full kitchenette with room for a refrigerator, um, full set of appliances. Appliances look to be pretty basic, just a Frigidaire white set with a Bosch dishwasher. Dishwasher appears to be brand new. Nice hardware on, looks like all original cabinets that were repainted white. And there is more room right here for a stackable set, like a stackable washer and dryer. And what's really cool about this space is it has exterior access. So effectively this could be turned into a casita. So it has its own, its own independent private entry it has its own, does it have its own bath? Yes, it does have its own bathroom. Uh, this is the access to the water heater room. It looks like the furnace is also located in here. Uh, the furnace and the water heater, I'm not sure about the age of the water heater, I could find out. The furnace looks to be all original. but this part of the house can be accessed independently and locked away from the rest of the house if needed. So this just takes us out into the front courtyard that has the, looks like that part of the HVAC system has been upgraded. So it's a three ton unit that sits outside and uh, this courtyard has a little gate. So effectively you could have, you know, this be used as a guest suite that can be accessed through this door, bypassing the rest of the house. Gives you a full dining, living space, one bedroom. So it's essentially like a one bedroom, one bathroom apartment um, on the lower level that has a private entry. That's a very nice touch. So this door uh, can lock it away from the rest of the house. You can put a deadbolt on it and keep this area completely private if you wanted to. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at the rest of the house. Looks like this sta staircase got modernized with some nice uh, single steps with glass casing and that Beautiful tile work uh, pretty much throughout this entire back area. And as you head up the staircase, there's a nice modern looking light fixture and an oversized fan. Michonne's helping us today. What do you think? <laughs> so this, this part of the house has all the money shots. As we uh, get through this staircase, as you can see, 
There's some beautiful views of St. George through all of these windows and they're nice large windows. And also uh, there are vaulted ceilings upstairs. So this space feels much larger. I'll just walk all the way to the corner of the room to give you guys a good feel for dimension. So you could see um, the ceilings with additional can lights throughout and an oversized uh, fan with a light fixture. I'll give you a feel for the views from this side of the house. There's a good sense of privacy here because you don't have any neighbors that are up above looking down. There's a nice insert fireplace over here and I'll stand all the way in this corner to give you guys a feel for the space looking in this direction. Michonne had a foot surgery recently, so that's why she is wearing that fashionable footwear. <laughs> and as we look out through this window, that's that modern house that's being built uh, that I was telling you guys about when I was outside earlier. Okay, let's tour the rest of the upstairs. There's a nice patio that we'll check out in just a minute. So kitchen has a nice oversized uh, island. Mm -hmm. It's also put, you can put bar stools here, here, here. So yeah, it looks like there's a ton of sitting room around that island. So floating shelves and all the cabinets will have LED lighting. Looks like it's a work in progress still that will be installed. That would be a good spot for a little kitchen TV. I think that wall would probably, probably easily fit 55, maybe a 60. You, you wouldn't want that big in the kitchen. Why not? Um, and then you can hang another like, dining So light. there's another spot for a uh, dining light or chandelier, something you would put above your dining table. Take a look at that range. Yeah, it's, huge. This is awesome. it's a Gen Air um, gas range. There's some nice backsplash and a range hood right up above it. It's hard to tell looking at that range, but it appears to be used. It does not appear to be brand new. There's more shiplap on the center island and the microwave is located down below. And these are the views from the kitchen. And while we're on a topic of views, let's head out on the upstairs balcony. Oh yeah, so there is a butler pantry in here as well is hidden, fairly hidden. It's a pretty good size and it has a couple of outlets so you could um, place some of your appliances here that you want to have out of sight. And directly across we have a nice balcony with some upgraded modern railing. There's a ton of space out here. So if you wanted to set up 
some patio furniture to enjoy a morning coffee or an afternoon drink. And this patio wraps all the way around to this side of the house as well. Oh, all the bedrooms I noticed all have their own um, door that goes outside. So every bedroom has an exterior door. And there's again, recessed can lights throughout the exterior of the property. Sliding door appears to be all original. No? Never mind, I stand corrected. It does look a lot more modern. So the door is matching. Stand corrected. So this is the master suite. Has some beautiful views through this window. And I'll back my way into this corner to give you guys the feeling for the space. Vaulted ceilings in here as well. Vaulted ceilings with a huge oversized fan, the biggest fan. The master bath has been fully remodeled. Looks like there's a new vanity with a double mirror, some 3D backsplash. His and her sinks. shower with a rainfall head. The door opens both ways. Michon will demonstrate the size. And there is a standalone tub as well. The glass is not a privacy glass. And it looks like, well, through this side, quite a ways from your neighbors, but you can't see the window right there. So I would suggest some form of tinted privacy glass, frosted glass perhaps. And your closet is not connected to your bathroom, but it is also pretty spacious. The closet goes all the way up to the top, to the vaulted ceiling with some top racks. And into the laundry room, that's so nice. And the laundry room is attached to the master closet. Look how high up that skylight is. It does have a skylight. Kind of goes forever. <laughs> so, the master, this hallway takes us back out to the living room, kitchen area. And then this leads you into the laundry room and through the laundry room, you could access the master closet. There's not a door on the um, entryway. As we head down this hallway, there is a guest bath that is also attached to uh, to one of the bedrooms and it's a full-size bath with some beautiful backsplash it goes all the way to the top and it also has a skylight so this uh, bathroom could be used as a guest bath and it's also attached to one of your upstairs bedrooms and this bedroom has a little makeup counter sink Looks like it's missing a door panel right there. And it's the bathroom that I just showed you guys. So this is the bathroom that it's connected to. It has a pocket door. Those are tricky to pull out sometimes. You got the idea. There is a, a closet.
closet. Let's take a look at the size of this closet. It's an okay size. And there's double doors that lead you out of this bedroom to access this uh, enclosed uh, patio, sunroom. So it's a, it's a good sized sunroom that runs pretty much the entire uh, side of the property. It kind of wraps around. So this door goes back out to the front patio. Remember when we were outside and I was pointing at that door? So effectively from here, you can access the front patio and go all the way back out to the kitchen. This home has a lot of ways to get in and out. <laughs> I hope you guys can follow along all right without getting, uh, getting lost. Okay, so as we exit this bedroom, there's a bedroom right across the hallway. This bedroom is a little bit larger. It has sliding doors that take you out into the backyard, a closet, what else are we missing on this level? Have we been to every bedroom? Yeah. We'll go outside to the master because it doesn't have one of those lockers. Okay. And this bedroom has uh, a sliding door that takes you out into your backyard. Take you guys one more time through the master. So the um, the washer and dryer situation, it is set up for an electrical dryer. It does not have a gas hookup, but this property is on Dixie Power. So electricity, cost of electricity is pretty low out here. With Dixie Power being in the top of the nation's uh, top three most affordable. So off the back of the master suite, you have this sort of elevated enclosed patio. This would be a perfect area for a hot tub. Um, this patio area is probably about uh, maybe 15 by 20 or so. And of course from here, uh, you have a little bit of privacy created by those trees and some views out in this direction. As we head out back, there is some additional parking effectively in your backyard and the rest of your backyard kind of goes up that hill all the way up to that white fence. So that little sunroom area you would need to keep it cool for dogs, but it has a dog door. So it goes to the backyard, uh, back into there. Okay. That's pretty cool. This takes us to the extra parking. So this is the extra parking. Um, it is a little bit tight, so I'll have to measure it. I'll, I'll give you guys measurements uh, separately, but uh, this side of the house has this driveway that goes across and there is a gas meter that's blocked off with these metal poles to protect it however the distance from the gas meter to this wall um let me see if i could get michonne to assist me actually why don't we do this yep. Feet. 
Wait, it was droopy. You don't have to see the tape, you can just hold it straight. Uh, seven feet. Can you hold it straight? I'm holding it straight. Straight down, level. Yeah, so that's about seven feet. About seven feet of width through this opening. But as soon as you clear the, uh, as soon as you clear the gas meter, this takes you all the way back up by this gate. So it may not be perfect for an RV, uh, but you could probably sneak a car past it. And this gate gives you access to easily two more parking spots. Looks like the entire roof uh, just received new tiles. So it's a new tile roof. And they matched the exterior paint to kind of match the combination of uh, dark and light grays. And this is what the stucco used to look like on this home. It's a little exterior closet. It looks like there are some irrigation valves right back here for the sprinkler system. And this patio feels super private. And as we go beyond this patio, the rest of your backyard is pretty much rock that goes all the way up to the neighbor's property line. And these are the views from your backyard. And there's a, there's a little park down below with uh, walking and biking trails. And that takes you down below to access to the lower level casita. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions.